Everybody has a favorite plugin when they are mixing and mastering. And today I'm going to reveal to you my top five favorite third party plugins that I always use when I'm mixing and mastering. I'm Florina Jane, otherwise known as Flow of Music, and I put out a lot of videos related to music production. So if that is something that you like, then hit the subscribe button. So let's get started. The first plugin that I'm going to show you is an EQ plugin from Fab Filters. So Pro Q3 from Fab Filters is an excellent EQ plugin and I really love this a lot for lots of various reasons and I'll tell you why. So number one, when I am playing a track, all these wave lines come in, right? In a normal EQ plugin you get in Logic, you can't control them accurately. But over here, when you get these lines, you can just hover over that and it becomes like this. So you can correctly select what frequency you don't want. Maybe let's say I don't want this and I can just reduce it like that. Or if I want to boost something else, I can just hover on that, click this point and just increase it. Maybe I want to change this graph. I can just click it, come down here and I can choose something that I want. This is how you can be more accurate with this plugin. Another point is that I can add as many points as I like when I want to do an EQ change. Usually most EQ plugins will have restrictions like maybe they'll have eight filters or eight points that you can manipulate. This you can just keep moving and adding as many points as you like. It's up to you. So that is another advantage. So this is why I like Pro Q3 as an EQ plugin. Now plugin number two that I really love is Ozone Imager. Now this predominantly I use it for mastering tracks. See when I play a track, this is the frequency that you get. So suppose your track doesn't have the actual width that you need and it's sounding very much in the center and not wide apart, then you can control the width. You can technically increase the width by using this plugin. Predominantly, you will want to increase the high frequency area. So when a track is playing, you just put a band and you can solo it and listen to it also. So if that is what you want to increase the width, once you keep it, you will be having two lanes basically because we have two sections. This is section one, section two. And you want to increase the width of the second section. You can just raise this up. So as I keep increasing, the width of this area will be increased. If it is down, then it's more, you know, pan to the center kind of a thing. When you have the final track ready for mastering, you can maybe add this and slightly increase the stereo width and that will sound really well. There's another cool plugin I want to show you and it comes in isotope only and it is tonal balance control. This is a very interesting plugin. This as such doesn't do anything. It just shows you whether the track is having the right lows, low mids, high mids and highs. Basically when it comes within this area it means you are on the right track. So as you can see this line is correctly within the limit right so when it is like that it means that you are on the right track if it goes slightly above or below then it means you need to fix some eqs or maybe adjust the volume you can do whatever you want to fix that but it just gives you an idea of where you're standing and this is a pretty accurate one i worked with a lot of tracks using this plugin and i fixed some eq with this and it has worked really well so another plugin that i always use for especially vocal tracks is Melodyne. So I'm not going to play it here because I have opened a mastering track right now but I'll tell you what this does. Melodyne is an autotune plugin and it looks exactly and works exactly like a flex pitch when you want to fix a pitch. The output from a Melodyne sounds much more human and much more natural than from a flex pitch correction okay and that's why I always use Melodyne. Melodyne is the first plugin that I use on an audio track and fix whatever I want. I can control the pitch, I can control the vibrato, the length of a note, the amplitude of a note, all those things can be controlled exactly like a flex pitch. But like I said, it's going to sound more human and you have a little bit more advantages with that. Another plugin that I really like, which is a compressor, is the CLA-2A that comes within waves. So this compressor works really well, especially on group tracks. That's what I have realized. So when you have multiple group instruments, like multiple drums or the overall mixing end of the project. So in the stereo, do you want to just put one small compressor to glue them all together? Probably this is a compressor that you want to try out. I usually use this and compress a very less amount so that it just sits well with the whole track and the whole track is just glued a little bit together. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you quickly 
the third party plugins that I use because I've predominantly done videos on stock plugins in Logic. I thought it will be a nice time to start showing you the third party plugins that I use and the ones that I predominantly use in my tracks. So these are plugins, whatever I showed you, I always use them. Some on the mixing, some on the mastering. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Never stop learning, keep making music and I'll see you guys in another video.